dear student today we will discuss about the medical complication uh, anyhow a little uh, summary of the previous lecture so in the previous lecture basically we discuss about uh, various diseases regarding the uh, newborn babies children even the young especially in our community and then we discuss uh, in detail about the uh, those diseases especially the uh, pneumonitis condition related to the newborn babies and children uh, sore throat and uh, that is uh, the ear problem especially and then we discuss about the uh, dengue fever uh, also about the poliomyelitis which is still one of the problem in our society and last we discuss about the measles because still measles cases are reported in our uh, country especially in our in the Asian society uh, previously we discussed in too much detail uh, today we will discuss about the medical complication which is one of the important topic regarding the subject community for me see so one thing keep in mind uh, medical complication this is one of the broad terminology and we can define it as any serious problem that occur is a result of procedure diagnosis treatment or illness and that further exaggerate the condition is to be known as medical complication so from this definition is it's clear that multi uh, factors basically responsible for causing medical complication and that is uh, so medical complication may be during the operative condition during the during the surgical procedure or after the uh, surgical procedure to be known as the post uh, complication and uh, then basically certain problems medical problems medical uh, complications that may be occur due to uh, the use of certain uh, procedure that is to be basically used for the diagnosis and uh, investigation procedure and then basically medical complications may be due to certain medicines because on daily basis we are using a lot numbers of drugs like otc type drugs uh, we are using for a lot of the problem so let's suppose if you are using uh, prestamo just like for the penetral extra for the uh, severe headache condition so obviously on one side yes of course we will treat the severe headache condition but on the other side this how a drastic effect on the kidney and liver function and that's why multi uh, problems multi at yards are there so that's why uh, the complication medical complication that may be due to procedure and due to procedure mean during that may be during the operative condition or that may be after the operative condition to be known as post and that may be due to certain investigation and diagnosis parameters and especially while using certain drug substances or medicine so of course that may be one of the reason for causing uh, medical complication one of the example just to share with you people like polyphormacy of course or illness illness of course yes uh, uh, yes of course uh, one organ system directly have a direct relation with the other organ system and that's why uh, let's suppose one let's suppose if a candidate of a person is suffering from certain problem like uh, we can say tuber uh, like there is the diabetes diabetes mellitus uh, or uh, yes of course problem related to the respiratory system so this have a direct effect on the other uh, on the direct effect on the treatment protocol of the person so that's why any serious problem that may be occur as a result of procedure yes of course that is the operative condition they yes, support due to investigation or treatment or illness and that further basically exaggerate or worse the condition so such phenomena is to be known as uh, medical complication so on priority basis what they keep in mind yes of course surgery that's too much important and uh, i have uh, mentioned in definition that of course uh, surgery that's a uh, important thing and uh, a lot of complications may be reported during and after the surgical procedures yes of course at present time uh, 
all out uh, yes uh, new updated drugs are available and that's how a direct effect just to decrease the complication phenomena but still of course no surgery is risk free and that's why so a lot uh, uh, problems will be there a lot uh, complications will be there so of course uh, uh, procedure that is the complication that occur during the uh, course uh, surgical procedure so one thing keep in mind the amount of discomfort you have during or after surgery depend on the and many things including the type of surgery typical uh, typical discomfort may include so of course this depend upon this the nature of the surgery which we have to perform and this surgery have a direct effect on the uh, what on on the entire body system so obviously um, a lot of numbers of complications will be reported and most commonly of course there is an priority basis uh, nausea and vomiting from general anesthesia so of course we have to use uh, during an for anesthesia we just for the induction of anesthesia yes we should have to use certain anesthetic drugs and this is one of the side effects of those drugs they are responsible just to cause uh, nausea and severe nausea and vomiting like condition so the next thing that is the sore throat caused by tube plays in the wine pipe for the breathing during surgery so of course for the um, a respiratory mechanism just to uh, just to maintain the normal respiration so we should have to keep we should have to place uh, a, a wine pipe especially uh, for the breathing mechanism and this may have a direct effect just for the uh, just to cause the sore throat so of course this is also during the operative condition is one of the complication uh, soreness uh, pain and swelling around the incision side so of course this is also one of the complication restlessness and sleeplessness yes of course and thirst uh, uh, constipation and gas is most commonly observed during the uh, during and after the operative condition so the next one that is the shock so one thing in mind shock is a severe drop in the blood pressure that cause dangerous uh, uh, slowing of the blood flow throughout the body shock may be caused by blood loss yes of course and uh, yes sir, this may be caused by blood loss uh, infection spine injury or metabolic problem treatment so one thing in mind that shock so shock is just like um, a very diverse terminology and a lot of factors are basically responsible just we mentioned that is the severe blood loss so severe blood loss this is one of the things which is responsible for the um, shock severe infection spine injury yes if there is injury of the spinal spinal cord region or uh, there is the metabolic certain metabolic problems so treatment may include uh, one of the following like uh, yes of course help with breathing yes we have to normalize the normal uh, breathing mechanism by taking support of the uh, artificial respiration mechanism reduce uh, heat loss yes of course it's too much important especially uh, just to uh, reduce heat loss uh, yes of course certain if the, the shock is due to the blood loss so of course certain iv fluids and blood should be there uh, giving extra oxygen so extra oxygen should be provided artificial respiration will prescribing medication this might be raised blood pressure yes of course so in case of shock there is accidental fall severe fall in the blood pressure mechanism is there so we should have to normalize the blood pressure of the um, candidates by prescribing certain medication for that phenomena the next thing which is basically responsible during the operative condition for complication that is the anesthesia complication so one thing keep in mind keep, one thing keep in mind basically a lot numbers of drugs uh, to be used specially for the anesthesia for the induction of anesthesia and we have discussed in too much detail that is the general anesthetic specially local anesthetics and then we have discussed in too much detail that is about the drugs like that is the inhalational anesthetics uh, okay so of course while using these anesthetics so of course they are responsible just to cause a lot numbers of the a lot numbers of multiple uh, complication and many people will experience uh, virginess or confusion when first working off other symptoms after anesthesia include like there is nausea headache dizziness sore throat tiredness shivering dry mouth vomiting or mild hoarseness so of course mild hoarseness is regarding the <coughs> dry wineness dry wiseness this is dry wise so one thing in mind basically yes of course while using the anesthetic drugs so of course uh, 
after the uh, surgical procedure a lot number of complication will be there and it's most common related to the anesthetic drugs and those are just like uh, confusion like mechanism dizziness headache uh, in okay so dry mouthness vomiting of course and just change in the voice of the person so yes of course these are totally related to the uh, these are minor complications which are related to the anesthesia one thing in mind the next one that is the hemorrhage so hemorrhage is basically a bleeding mechanism yes of course if the patient lo uh, loses too much uh, blood from the site of surgery it can lead to shock so of course we have mentioned that shock one of the hemorrhage or bleeding tendency is one of the reason so of course the during the operative procedures yes there may be a chance of the bleeding tendency too much blood loss may be there so treatment just to to avoid such uh, shock conditions may be due to the hemorrhage so we have should have to take support of the iv fluids blood plasma if needed blood transfusion if it is needed the next it is either is urinary retention so of course during the surgical procedure this anesthetic have a direct effect on the bladder mechanism yes the person have the capability for the normal urination so of course this is also one of the problem and one of the complication during operative conditions and we should have to manage this problem to avoid urinary retention uh, the next thing that is the dbt blood clots so during post op many surgery uh, have an increase risk of the developing blood clots in the vein of the cuff this is called deep venous thrombosis so dvt stand for deep venous thrombosis and this most likely the site of the uh, cuff region and this happen because the body natural because uh, natural mechanism is there for the clotting mechanism so a chances of the clot formation is there and this clot formation which is to be known as deep venous thrombosis can cause lung problem including collapsed lungs therefore surgeon will take every step possible to prevent them so yes of course in ticagulant if it is the if the yes if he yes of course if he thinks to be needed so we should he should have to prescribe certain anticoagulants to avoid the deep venous thrombosis like problem and the next one that is the post operative lung infection so of course it's important to exercise the lung after undergoing any surgery they choose anesthesia uh, of course so uh, this that's why this have a direct effect on the yes of course during the operative conditions is the lung normal mechanism is too much affected so the person have the capability just to 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 yes to to breathe normally and this is one of the this is maybe one of the reason for causing a lot of numbers of the uh, problem but just like in a monotonous condition may be developed so that's why we should have to focus on this parameter wound infection so of course if normal sur if surgery is there so of course there may be a chance of the uh, microbial growth if microbial growth is there so of course certain infection will be there so that's why uh, the surgeons have to focus on all these parameters and such the respective yes of course proper hygiene should be there and just to prescribe certain medication that have a very good result during the operative condition one thing in mind uh, certain following condition can increase the risk of complication during surgery so one thing in mind is of course uh, uh, we should have the uh, patient complete patient medication history and profile because it's too much important to, while operating the conditions uh, let's suppose the person have any heart problems yes the person is hypertensive or normal yes uh, uh, bleeding point of view yes, of course obesity copd as yes, the person how the lungs problem or not kidney problem diabetes because these are very all these uh, parameters are very important uh, regarding the operative condition because if we not properly take the history of the patient or the person so in such circumstances there may be um, a problem that's um, you know, we can say that uh, during the operative conditions if the person have these problem if we not properly monitors so this have a direct effect on the operative procedures and there may be even chances of the uh, death yes of course this is why we have to properly monitor all these condition in order to avoid such a uh, complication that may be occur during the operative condition so of course if heart disease so the stress of surgery put extra strain on the muscles of the heart uh, to maintain the cardiac output additionally the agent uh, anesthesia can uh, depress cardiac function so in the mind of course 
yes if the person have already disease heart disease problem and uh, further we are using anesthetic drugs and uh, yes of course that in, uh, this overall phenomena will further increase the uh, workload uh, on the heart so of course if such phenomena is there so we should have to multi think for uh, multi uh, multi thing multi and multi side we should have to think in order to avoid such problem because it may create a lot of problem a lot of complication so this that's too much important hypertension because of course if the if person have too much high elevated uh, blood pressure so of course are the too much high respiratory if respiratory problem is there so of course the other all these things are too much correlated one and this have a direct effect on the normal mechanism and yes of course the this will cause a lot of number of complications stroke yes of course this is also too much important bleeding disorder so of course if the person have a bleeding disorder mechanism and let's suppose uh, uh, if you not properly uh, take the history of the person so during the surgery con surgical conditions yes the person there may be chance of the the person may be uh, expire obesity this is also one of the important factor copd of course because we should have to normalize the normal breathing of the person during the operative condition so if the person have the copd as my condition so this will exaggerate the condition kidney problem so incre yes in increase the risk of stroke after surgery and kidney this is one of the filter mechanism so yes of course we should have to focus on the kidney uh, normal function and diabetes yes of course diabetes is too much important because uh, diabetes yes of course if diabetes is there so wound healing mechanism wound, wound healing uh, point of view problem will be there so we should have to focus on all these problem if we not properly uh, monitor these and if we not properly take the history of the patient so a lot numbers of complications will be there so all the we have to discuss about today we have discussed about the uh, complication that are most commonly related to the operative conditions that may be during the operative condition or that may occur after the operative condition surgical procedure to be known as the post so we should have to think on multi sites in order to avoid all these uh, problems so i think uh, this is sufficient for today